Okay, it's time for that review for The 100, Season 5, Episode 6, Exit Wounds. Now, Octavia is still tripping. She's still tripping. She's, again, we have to go back to this. They mentioned it several times in this episode. It's been six years. A lot of changes have happened. And the situation that Octavia and one crew was in changed a lot of them. Um, we also got to see something. They were seeing Octavia, her crew. One crew was seeing her as um, vulnerable at this moment. She was hurt. She didn't, although she was coming up with plans of what to do, they're not sure that her plans will work. And this was, this was told to Octavia. Dielsa had a plan. She said, let me send food and offer them to come over and join us. Because they know that they're hurt. They're worried about what they got to do. They're running out of food. They don't, you know, they're in survival mode right now. And they re some people want to rather be safe and have somebody who has something. They have weapons. They have the best area that they could have at this moment to hold down, which is the Shadow Valley. And um, she knew some people would defect. Now, the thing I like about this is there was also that dynamic that Bellamy and Echo were together. And Octavia doesn't like that. Echo almost killed Octavia. And she's looking just straight at that. That's all she remembers. But Bellamy is trying to reason with Octavia and say, hey, look, it's been six years. A lot of things changed. She's proven herself plenty of times over when we were up in space on the ring. Octavia's not trying to hear that. She's just so stuck in her ways. Now, it's been six years, so there's some changes. So, of course, she's going... It's not going to be easy for her just to be like, well, okay, Bellamy, I get you. But you did see when the prisoner's ship was flying over top of where they were stationed and he thought it was going to be an attack coming. Octavia yelled for Bellamy to come with her to be safe. She cares for him. It's hard and she might act the way she acts, but at the same time, she made sure she told Bellamy, come on, get to safety. That's when he was dropping the food down. Anyway, on to that. Bellamy went to go challenge her fight when Octavia was practicing. And it was funny because I was like, oh, Bellamy, what are you doing? You better have learned some moves or something. And he did because when he was fighting Octavia, he was actually getting the best of her. And he, he let her know in six years, nothing to do up there. Echo has trained me. And Octavia noticed that he fights in the style of the people from, you know, the, uh, 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 the um, Echo's tribe. So he was trying to reason with his sister. It didn't really go according to plan, but Octavia is still smart. She might be a little bit of what I call a wild card in the situation because you just never know what she's going to do, but she's smart. She said, Echo, you're a spy, right? Well, how about you do something for me? You go with the prisoners and you spy on them because Echo was trying to let her know some people were going to leave and it is not smart to try to tell those people to you know, stay, forget what she's saying because they're already looking at her like Octavia might not be able to handle what's going on currently. But that was smart. Echo, why don't you go and be a spy? Not only did she do that, but she also shot some of her people as they were trying to defect. And she told Bellamy, it looks more realistic and believable if I am taking out some of my own people who are trying to defect. It doesn't look like we're just sending all these people there with a plan. Now, getting to Maddie. Clark and Maddie's relationship is very strong and very tight. And she is worried about the outcome of her more than herself. Obviously, that's like her daughter now. But Maddie is drawn and being, you know, just, she's just attracted to Octavia and what she stands for. She was keeping it a secret at first that she's a pure nightblood. But then she told Octavia everything. She's, it, it, this happens sometimes. You can see kids are influenced by something new that they see or something that's just different. I mean, it just depends. You're a product of your environment, but she's barely been there. But for some reason, Octavia is just, I mean, the same thing that drew all of us to Octavia is probably drawing Maddie to Octavia too. But she let her know, now we don't know what Octavia's going to do with that information, even though she guaranteed and let Clark know that she was going to keep the secret. Regardless, this is a mess on our hands. Now, I've seen some people on Twitter talking about, where's my old Bellamy? Where's the Bellamy from season one, season two? Remember, at the beginning of season one, Bellamy was wild. That boy was, un he was out of control, really. And it, through the flashbacks, we saw why exactly. But my thing is, he's there. It's been six years. He's changed. If you don't like Echo and him together, but you like Echo, or if you don't like Echo at all, this makes sense. It really does. I mean, you know, Bellamy, Clark's all into her, her and Maddie right now. Now, there's a couple things I'm wondering. Is Echo going to have to die or get a new love interest or something like that for to make room for Bellamy and Clark? Or is Maddie going to have to leave Clark's side and all of a sudden want to become the leader of one crew 
for Clark to really just open up and worry about her and Bellamy. I don't know, but that's the thing I love about the show. They throw so much at you, you don't know what's coming next. There's a few possibilities, lots of variables, and things that could change this up. We didn't see Raven this episode. I just realized that they didn't show Raven at all. But anyway, did y'all like Murphy and Amori? You know what I mean? I, they were in a situation. Remember, Amori stayed back to stay with Murphy. That's because she cares. And you can see that. But once they got the collar off and some of the prisoners, they thought they blew up all of them. You can see her looking at Murphy. And it's like situations like that where I guess they just going to bond together again. Them two surviving on their own is what got them to like each other in the first place. So situations like that, more situations like that, and they're going to start liking each other. Although they're about to get it on. And she tells Murphy, this does not mean we're back together. I, I would have been thinking the same thing. Like, yeah, right. You care about me. Whatever I did up there on the ring upset you. But there's there's that strong love there. I mean, that's the only person she... That's the person she connected with the most out of all of these people that she's currently around now. You know, it was her and Murphy. So it's easy to bring those feelings back. Glad they're getting back together as slow as that take. I don't care. But they're so good. I love Amori, too. All the women on this show, I love them. But anyway, yeah, this was a good episode. I mean, it threw a lot of things. And that's what I expected. I didn't expect anything to go right. The episode always ends, like, not really a cliffhanger, but letting you know, like, oh, geez, we got to wait to see what's going on. And we have no idea what the next step is going to be. But, um, yeah, overall, really good episode. They they delivered. Um, Twitter is going crazy. You guys really don't like Bellamy how he is now. I mean... To me, he's making sense. He's being reasonable, you know, and that's how he's been the last couple of seasons. He's a guy who's just trying to do what's best overall. He's never really selfish anymore like he was in season one. I I, I got to say, I know we want Clark and Bellamy to get together, but that's going to take time. You know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, overall, this was a good episode. I really enjoyed it. Can't look. I'm looking forward to next week's, but we got it's not even next week. What we got Um, the 19th is coming back. Another two week break. This is killing me, man. You know, I mean, you know, but the the showrunner did say he hates him just as much as we do, but that's above his pay grade, so he he has no control and no say in that. But for whatever reason, goodness Lord, they come back for one week and then give us another two weeks. I think they should give us two weeks before they do another two week break. I mean, come on now, you know, it's it's hard enough having to wait week after week. But anyway, yeah, that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll see you next time.